What is up, guys? Apple Tech. Before we get started with this video, I'm sorry if you guys hear stuff in the background instead of watching stuff. That's part of the reason why it's kind of bad doing the videos in the garage when I have to watch the zone because I'm doing this video kind of late and it's watching. But, anyways, let's just start with this video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Galaxy S11 leaks. I mean, the S20, exactly. That's what we're going to be calling it. We're going to talk about most of this stuff and the iPhone 12 leaks as well. So, let's talk about the iPhone 12 first since this is Apple Tech. First, let's talk about the iPhone 2 is actually going to be going back to the iPhone 4 and 5 design. I'm really, really happy about the way Apple is going. I'm going to have to talk really loud because that washer, but it's just crazy the way they're going. They're actually going to be having like a couple of phones in their lineup. They're going to be having like a 5.4 inch and a 6.1 inch, and then they're going to have a 6.7 inch, and I think... I think it's 6.7 inch and there's another phone that I actually don't know the size of so I'm not going to tell you the size of the other phones I actually not sure about that we actually this year for some phones Apple could be getting rid of the charging port sadly on one of their phones probably the more advanced phone exact from what I've heard from everything Apple Pro and reading articles and stuff like that and also, I've heard that Apple could be introducing a navy blue color, finally. I think it'd be pretty good. I'm really, really excited for the way Apple is going, even though I am in the mood of maybe switching to Samsung. I'm not sure yet. Probably, I suppose we get a new phone next month. Maybe I'll let you guys get updated on that. But I'm really, really excited for the iPhone. It's, I think it'll look really good. Especially with the stainless steel border, but I feel like it looks better if they go back to aluminum, even though that's not really good because that kind of be like a downgrade from iPhone 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max, but still. Alright, so they still be adding a 3D diffuser camera, which is already on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which means Apple is a year behind in tech because of that. Samsung has already introduced that 3D diffuser camera, and for some reason, Sam and for some reason, Apple has not. So hopefully Apple introduces the 3D diffuser camera this year. For right now, Samsung is ahead of that. Especially when the Samsung Galaxy S20 comes out, they're gonna be adding even more features. Now it's not much stuff I know about the iPhone 12 because the iPhone 12 is like almost a year ahead from coming out. So it's not much stuff I know about it. So it's not too much to talk about, but there's so many, there's so much stuff I can talk about the S20 since it's literally coming out in less than a month. Really, in three to four weeks, it's going to be coming out. So, let's talk about the camera. I mean, let's talk about the lineup of the S20. It's, the lineup of the S20 is going to be called the S20, the S20 Plus, and the S20 Ultra. The S20 is going to be a 6.2 inch. The S20 Plus is going to be a 6.7 inch. And the S20 Ultra is actually going to be a 6.9 inch. So it's really good. I'm really happy. That's actually the biggest phone that ever came out with a 6.9 inch display. I cannot wait. It's supposed to have a 120 hertz display. It's supposed to have five cameras. It's supposed to have also a notchless display because Samsung has never had a notch on any of their phones. So plots, plots the Samsung for that. And um, one thing that I've been wondering, which I don't know about, is the Samsung Galaxy S20 going to have a headphone jack? 80% chance. Probably no, because I saw pictures of it and it didn't look like it had a headphone jack to me. You guys can see it, link in the description. But it didn't really look like it had a headphone jack to me. So 80% chance, probably not going to have a headphone jack. But the good thing is you're going to be having a 120 hertz display. You're going to have a five camera. You're going to have like this really zoom camera. Was takes such good shots, spare when video recording. It probably could change around. Right now, the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max are the best in video recording because they can shoot 4K in all three lengths because they are the best in video recording. But we don't know. That may can switch when the Samsung Galaxy S20 comes out. The S20 probably going to have a lot better video camera than the iPhone. So, we don't know yet. And plus, the battery life is supposed to be 20 times better than the S10 and the Note 10. So, that's probably going to beat the 11 Pro Max. Right now, the 11 Pro Max has the best battery life out of any smartphone in the world. But, the S20 Ultra, it has a huge battery, which is way bigger than the 11 Pro Max. I feel like the, 
the S20 Ultra is going to be the 11 Pro Max. I'm a, a 90%, 99% chance it's going to be it. Because it's new phone, and I'm pretty sure Samsung has been working very hard. How that? They've made updates on a lot of stuff. The speakers, especially display. 120 hertz display. That's probably the best display ever. Like, seriously. I cannot wait to see all the videos and stuff. You never know. I may get the S20. Probably not. But we don't know yet. The S20 will be a great phone. And very expensive. So, let me tell you guys the pricing. Right now, I heard off of Twitter and off of YouTube from other YouTubers. I heard that the S20 Ultra is going to be the most expensive, obviously, because it's the biggest and it has the biggest battery and the most features. It is going to be $1,300. Yes, they're expensive. And the S20, the S20, the regular S20 is going to be ranging from $900 to $1,000. And I believe the S20 Plus is going to reach up to probably $1,110 around that. I'm not sure about the S20 Plus. It's going to be around $1,110. Samsung is actually very increasing their prices. If the S20 comes in and actually beats that price, that would be one of the most expensive phones in the world because Apple's most expensive phone is the iPhone 1 Pro Max at $1,100 as the basic model. So, I'm not sure yet. According to pricing, it could be a lot more expensive than some of these iPhones, which I'm really excited. The S20 is probably the S20 when the S20 comes out and the S20 Ultra, we already know it's probably it's the best, it's gonna be the best phone in the world. The best phone in the world right now is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Google Pixel 4, no, it's not good because you know. But yeah, those, that's just some leaks of the iPhone 12 and Galaxy S11 leaks. I mean, the S20, I keep calling it S11. Don't say S11. Don't say S11. Don't say S11. It's the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra. So excited to see the battery life on this phone. 99% chance it's going to be the iPhone because it's newer. And obviously, Samsung is always better when it comes to battery life, especially when they do new stuff and all that. So I'm really, I'm really excited. So we'll just have to see, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. So I can give you a shout. Comment down below. What, what phone are you using? Are you using right now? What, what do you think about the new leaks and stuff coming out next month? Personally, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this new phone. And I do have a review coming up for my Apple Watch Series Three. So stay tuned. But see you guys in the next video that I post. Have a nice day.